Hello, I'm John Britt. Today we're going to do bowls. Um, I got some samples of the shapes we're going to do here. Like these are, it's sort of a faux bowl for soup and it arches out a little, like a classic shape. Uh, these are oil spots and um, here's another version that I sometimes like to do where I facet it, but we'll do that another day. But you can see the generalized shape and it can be many different sizes. So now we're going to come over here, we're going to take about, a, I got about a pound and a half of clay, put it down, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with, I'm going to show you two things, but one is the ribs that we're going to work with. This is a, these are two ribs that you just get from a Kemper kit, and this one on here I have uh, trimmed with a metal shear to make the shape that I want. And then another tool I'm going to use here is going to be this uh, Cheryl rubber rib, okay? But here is a centering little trick. If you can practice this, once I, I'll cone this a little, and then here's like a one-handed centering method where you push your sort of thumb down, and you know, if you practice that a little, you get get the hang of centering really well. Okay, now what I'm going to do when I get that about right, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to leave about half inch at the bottom. And now, the, one of the first things I'll do with a rounded bowl is use a rib in there to try to get my profile early and, and then keep, keep it without deforming it too bad. It also helps compress the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to do our pull. And we sort of just come up, we let it come out some because I know that it's going to be approximately this wide. I don't want to come up in a cylinder because then it's, it's too constrained and I don't want to come out too flat like a plate. So I will rub my finger across the bottom of this bowl and then right here is where I start pressing pretty hard. And then just let it come up. And get my rim reasonably thin, but not too thin. I still want some structure. And then now I'm going to take this little uh, rubbery rib and come inside here. And uh, kind of smooth it out a little. And now I'm going to come in again, and you can probably see this outside profile as it'll start to take shape here. Then I just sort of let this sort of drop, drop it over the top like that a little. Then when I'm ready, I'll probably do one last cleanup on the inside, and then I'll just lay these two ribs here. And that gives me my shape. And then the final bit will be I'll just touch it up with a sponge and my fingers or a chamois if you got one. Okay, so that is our bowl lesson for today. Make a thousand of those and I'll see you in the morning.